This time, the Carnage Hall tournament. Good seeing you. Hello, Lightning. Yo, what's up? So you've heard about me? Sure, who hasn't? Yeah, I'm a fucking legend. What are they saying? Any hot chicks asking about me? Oh man, plenty. All dreaming to meet the legend. Haha, <laughs> that's my life. What can I say? Providing the fastest water delivery on the rooftops gives you celebrity status. I have also the most diverse selection. Dill water, sparkling water, lavender flavor, honey flavor, even urtica flavor. Wait, wait, what? Urtica flavor? Who knows? But it sounds intriguing, right? It's called marketing. People drink it up. Doesn't matter what it is, but if it sounds fresh and different, they want it. So, did you come here to challenge me? To get your ass kicked by fabulous Sadio? Well, I know I have no chance, but to be defeated by you would be an honor. Darn right it would, men. So, when you're ready, take these bottles for a brisk run. Just try not to break your legs. Yeah. <laughs> 
way. I mean, no fucking way. How did you do that? Did you cheat? No, I'm just faster. So no more Sadio the Lightning for you. This ain't over. I'll keep practicing. And so should you. See you around the water tower, Paul. like a cat fight, but bloody hell. Can you believe just yesterday those two were best friends? What happened? Last night, someone stole Teresa's flower. All of it. A major harvest, too. She could have made a killing. Without it, she got nothing. No flower, no sales, no money. She and her son won't last another month without the income. Oh, she must be desperate to blame her best friend. Ex-best friend. But it's just an accusation. It's not like she's got any evidence. She's a bit hot-headed, that's for sure. But you'd have to ask her yourself. You think she needs help? Teresa? Why? Looking to earn some cash? Well, that's not why I... You're a pilgrim, aren't you? You guys don't do anything for free. How much do they fork over for the water? She'll be near her shop. Well, thanks for the tip. Pilgrim, have I already thanked you for, for the water? I hear you were robbed. But my best friend, no less. I'm devastated, really. And why on earth would you jump to that conclusion about your best friend? I didn't want to, but who else could it be? She was storing it for me, to keep it safe, she said. And now, it's conveniently gone. 
Me and my boy are left with nothing. If only she'd admit it and return the flower, I'd forgive her, I swear I would. Lord is my witness, if she's in trouble, I'll help her. But she's a stubborn one. We've had quite a harvest too. Wouldn't have had us living on Easy Street, but now, now we'll starve. How did Anna explain the disappearance of the flower? Theft, not a disappearance. And she didn't explain anything. She's lying through her teeth. How do you know? See it in her eyes. It's a lie. I look back and realize Anna's been a liar all along. Do you have any proof that Anna did this? Not exactly, but was in her shed, wasn't it? In here, I thought she was doing me a favor offering to store it. Turns out, she was just making it easier for her to screw over me and my boy. <sighs> Talk to her, would you? She won't listen to me. Maybe a stranger could get around her stubbornness. We can put this behind us if she gives it back. And if she stole it because she was hungry, she can keep what she needs. Her shed's near the water tower. Please, go talk to her. I'll think about it. A friend in need is a friend indeed. Hey, Anna? Anna, I just want to talk. Go away! Talk to me and I'll go away. It won't take long. Look. I know Teresa sent you. How dare fuck her. And fuck you. We are free people. Way. Can we please talk? I'd like to help. Help what? Remind me I'm a widow? Or, or that I'm dirt poor? Or a heinous flower thief? I'm not making assumptions. I just want to hear your story. I want to hear the truth. The truth? You want the truth? Here's the truth. I would never rob a friend. Never. And that's the end of my story. Did Teresa tell you about the half year's wages she owes me? I needed Teresa to sell that flower so she could pay me. Why would I risk everything? My well-being, Teresa, and her sons, by stealing it. I thought you were best friends. So did I. Until today. Since the fall, we've been close. I lost my child. She lost her husband. I... I became very depressed. Suicidal. Teresa got me through it. She even cooked for me and my husband, who drank heavily. I can't believe she'd accuse me of this. She'd mentioned you were storing the flower. I figured it was the best way to keep watch over it and make sure I got paid. So we put it in my shed near the tower. I went to check on it this morning and... nothing. All gone. You didn't see anyone lurking nearby or... Anything suspicious? You don't think I would have mentioned that by now? I can only tell you that I did not steal that flower. I wouldn't do that to Teresa. Or to myself. The only strange thing was that nothing else was stolen. My buckwheat, my beets, untouched. Whoever it was only wanted the flower. Interesting. Mind if I go check out the shed? Maybe it just needs to be looked at with a fresh pair of eyes. Knock yourself out. Help us end this madness, please.
Doors unlocked. Somebody must have had keys. Nothing's broken. Someone was very familiar with this place. The rest of the supplies are untouched. They knew exactly what they were looking for. Mm, footprints. One set of shoes. Thief worked alone. Flower trail on the ground. Bags dragged this way. the keys to the shed me and my husband but he's dead nobody else you're sure there's no sign of forced entry Anna whoever took the flower had the keys or made copies so you do think it was me calm down and think who else would do this and why help me help you Unless Teresa's right after all. Hard to tell. Someone from the bazaar, perhaps? There's Dodger. That guy's capable of anything. And then there's Benny, Teresa's son. And that's all I can come up with. Why would this Dodger character steal the flower? Haven't a clue. Other than it's just the kind of thing I'd expect from a shady guy like him. His kind never dirty their hands with real work. They just sit there, living large of others' misfortune. But I... I... Anna, hey. Got carried away. Sorry. I only just lost my husband, and it still hits me at random times. <clears throat> Sorry. Where was I? Oh, right. So Dodger kept asking Teresa about her harvest, her, her grain, how much, etc., I didn't think much of it at the time. I try not to pay attention to scum like that. If you want to talk to him, you'll find him at the bazaar. But watch your back. He doesn't give a rat's ass about people. Only money. Can you tell me where you were the night the flower was stolen? Morning, my husband. That night? Like every night since I lost him. I'm sorry for your loss. I'm sure you are. Let's get this over with. What about Teresa's son? Why would he do this? Normally, I wouldn't suspect him. Nice kid. I've known him all his life. He's like a son to me. But lately, he's been quiet. Like he's got something to hide. And maybe he does. But no, Benny wouldn't have done this. It would break Teresa's heart, and he knows it. And even if he had taken the flower, why? That seems to be the central question for everyone involved. Where can I find Benny? Not sure. He's been making himself pretty scarce. That said, I'm sure Teresa's got him guarding their storehouses. Make sure what meager goods they have left are safe. I'll look for him. Accusations are devastating enough around here. I'm ruined. And not if we find the flower and prove it was someone else. Perhaps. But in my experience, the damage has been done. Maybe, maybe not. Let's see what I can find out. At least you believe me. Thank you for that.
you. Card was good for me. How should I know they were scammers? Aiden, warms my heart to see a treasured friend. You getting sentimental on me? I have a mission for you. You have to defeat an army of virals and then jump into fire. Um, are, are you nuts? <laughs> I'm kidding. Checking if you've learned anything after the last one. But you can see that we are slowly moving forward. Teresa's flower was stolen, and I want to find out who did it. Teresa's flower was... What the fuck? Okay, you've got my attention. You know where Benny might be? Do I look like his mother? Believe me, he's on top of my where are they now list. He went down in flames in our last card game. He almost literally bet the farm. And lost. So if you're looking for that flower, it's not Teresa's or Benny's no more. It's mine. The kid owed it to me. And if it's missing, it was stolen from me. Aha. Uh -huh. So Benny's in your debt. Big time. Up to his ears, you might say. In flower. You think he stole it? Could be. He's a dumb kid who might think that will stop me from trying to collect. I need to find him then. Ask Mother Teresa. She's usually got the boy on a short leash. Like, except for poker nights, clearly. What do you know about a woman named Anna? What, the one who works for Teresa? Not all that much. I used to play cards with her husband before he, you know, beat it. He never said boo about her. Not even a few pints in. That says something right there. So now you know I have the most skin in this game. If that flower isn't found, I am the big loser. So maybe check out Teresa's storehouses. Hmm, seems like just the place a dumb kid like Benny would think he could hide. And if you do get your hands on the flower, just kindly bring it straight to me. I'll pay you handsomely for the service, of course. But it will save everyone a lot of grief, and... Hey, I get my flower. We can put this behind us. So that's the pilgrim? Don't look like much of a sinner. Doesn't look safe. Maybe there's another way. Uh. 
something was here recently. Pretty empty as warehouses go. Hey, what the fuck are you doing here? Is that you, Pilgrim? You shouldn't be here, mate. How'd you get in? You're Benny, right? We need to talk. I don't like this. Dodger sent you, did he? Tell him I'm pulling together what I owe him. I'm just... I just haven't got it yet. Hold up, Benny. Wait, so you're saying you're in debt to Dodger? Dodger hasn't sent you. No. How much do you owe him? Only you had a reason to steal the flower. You bastard! Do you think that just because you turn on the water, you got free run of the place? Tell me I'm wrong. I ain't telling you nothing. Fuck <sighs> off! Benny! Where are you, Benny? Saute the mushrooms, blanch the asparagus, fry the onion until translucent. Of course, we don't have any of these. So we'll just eat what we got.
fresh tracks. <laughs> gotcha. Let me go, please! First, answer a few questions. But I want the truth. Did you steal the flower? No, I don't even know where it is. So why did you attack me? Thought you might have been one of Dodger's boys. Come to collect. I see. You are in deep with Dodger and used your mother's bountiful harvest for collateral. I was hot that night, mate. And the pot was big enough we could have bought the Jansen's fields. With the water back on and all, Mum and me would have been sitting pretty for the rest of our days. But then, things got ugly and... Ain't no other way to tell it. I lost. So did Dodger take the flower? To settle up? Doubt it. Could have just made me bring it to him. And I would have. He's too lazy to do anything himself. But you know, mate, don't tell him I said that. What's the meaning of this? Your son's a thief. I'm bringing him to the guards for a chat. Unless he'll say where he hid the flower. Right now. I told you, mate. I didn't do it. Of course he didn't. Are you daft? Now, this will be a bitter pill, I'm sure. But all signs are pointing to your son. Especially the most important sign of all. He had a motive. Now, time to come clean, Benny. Tell your mother about your debt. The card game you lost. Please. You really think I don't know what's going on with my own son? He has nothing to do with this. Let him go. I'll be the one confessing here. We worked for months on that crop. Worked our fingers to the bone. It yielded enough to last for months. There'd be bread, enough to feed the whole bazaar. But you know what Dodgy would do if he got it? Sell it back to us for triple the price. We'd end up paying for our own flour. A cruel joke. All because of a stupid card game. We'd be ruined. I couldn't allow that. I wouldn't. So, where is the flower? Under the water tower. You must understand, it can't go to Dodger. And why not? He won it fair and square. Dodger? Fair and square? Hardly. He's a cheat. Everyone knows it. We just can't prove it. Okay. Say you're right. Is there a middle ground? Can we give him something else instead? Someone like Dodger doesn't seem all that flexible. He's got to be, mate. Talk to him, please. Ask him for more time. Anything. We're begging you. Uh, let me think about that. You are our only hope! Don't get melodramatic, Benny. The Pilgrim knows what he's doing. Cut him! Let's play! Ready! Over here, asshole! Apparently, they're both using infected livers for medicine. Disgusting.
What about an electric fence? They don't feel pain. We'll figure something out. A man after my own heart. Oh, choice, son. A pleasure, my boy. How dare they close the passage to the center? We are free people. Okay, let's make things lively. One hundred more. No freaking way. Unless you're willing to cut the time by ten seconds. Deal. Living dangerously. It was already an impossible task. Well, we'll see about that. Aiden, you find my flower yet? Yeah, that's what I'm here about. Teresa and Benny are in dire straits. Can you forgive their dad, or at least give them more time? Fuck that. How many times do I have to say I'm not running a charity? I didn't force Benny to play cards. You know, a man can't pay his debts well. <laughs> He's not a man, is he? Stupid is as stupid does. Maybe when they got nothing left but the skivvies on their butts, they'll have learned a valuable lesson. You know what, Aiden? Actually, yeah, I think I got something to help everyone. Honestly, nah, who cares about flour? What, am I going to be a baker all of a sudden? <laughs> I don't think so. But I do want what I'm owed. And me and Urban, we've got this bet. Wait, whoa, whoa, no fair, not him. He runs on walls. Of course it's fair. There's no rule against having him get them. You pull this off, Aiden, and what Urban will have to pay me will more than cover my losses on the flower. And there'll be extra I can throw your way. Wait, what exactly are you talking about here? You see, on top of the church, there's this, uh, well, let's just call it a flag. You can't see it from the ground, but this flag, well, it's, it's not a flag. Yeah, you'll know when you see it. Urban and I made a bet that I could find someone who could nab it for us. I've been raising the stakes for years, and Urban's called me every time. But with the amount on the line now, you know it would be a sin not to give it a try. Uh, I'm in no hurry. Rather you just keep raising the stakes till it gets real juicy. What's that? <laughs> Fear suddenly got you all puckered. Nah, I, I'm just looking out for you. It'll ruin you if you lose now, being out the flower and all. Well, I'm game if Aiden is. The time limit's pretty fucking brutal, but, you know, I've got faith in Aiden here. So, you in? Let's do this. Well then, let's just get to it, shall we? Three, two, one, go. Andale, Aiden. Make me proud.
got holes in your shoes doesn't mean you're poor. If you got no one to lean on, that's when you know you First tournament in three years. They'll attract the toughest fighters in the city. I tell you, Urban? I told you. <laughs> Been waiting years for this. We've got a winner. The Andy challenge has been conquered. Way to go, Aiden. All right, all right. Don't get so excited. You're ugly when you gloat, you know that? So what's the deal with this flag? <laughs> it's a pair of Carl's old undies. You put Teresa and Benny's life at stake for some old underwear? This was more about the bet itself, but the Andes are symbolic. There is a great story behind them, too. No one remembers when exactly, but long ago, a wild wind blew Carl's laundry off his line, and it got stuck on the roof. Carl wanted to mount some big mission to rescue his clothes. <laughs> Can you believe that? Anyway, everyone refused, of course. No one could climb that high. Off and on, a good wind would sometimes bring down a sock, maybe a shirt. But Carl's undies stuck there, flying proud. Urban bet me that I would never find someone who could fetch them for us. <laughs> but I did! <laughs> so you'll cancel Teresa and Benny's debt now? Like it never existed. And you, my new friend, you saved the day. Take this with my thanks. Yeah, he won't be hassling you about your flower anymore. Mate, how'd you do it? I won a bet for him. A strange one. But now we're in your debt. We'll never be able to repay you. Then pay it forward. Start by apologizing to Anna. Yes, yes, of course. Oh, God, what have I done? I'll go right away. Maybe it's not too late to repair things. I've been such a prat. This is all my fault. Just try to keep your nose clean from now on. For your mother's sake, if not your own. That was close. <laughs> 